<laughs> yeah, I call myself taking advantage of this deal for these two Renergy 100 watt panels, thinking that they were going to be like those, <laughs> but they were not. But they're actually performing very comparably to those. I think they're just more efficient for their size. Like these are more efficient for their size, but they're all 100 watt panels. So right now I have these four panels. They are not connected anymore, but now I want to put these in a series parallel joint. I just ordered another parallel cable because I'm going to have to steal this parallel cable from this array, which is the Renergy and the EcoFlow. And I'm going to put all of these either into the EB120 or the MPPT charge controller. Now the EB120 can take in more of this power. That charge controller maxes out at 300 watts. This is a 400 watt array. Realistically, it's gonna be 400 minus 20% for just inefficiency, which is gonna bring it down to like 320 anyway. So, you know, what are you gonna do? This is my M, my charge controller. Jeez, I'm gonna stop calling it an MPPT. That's a mouthful. Uh, at this point, it has given, it's about halfway full. You see 41 amp hours. On that battery right there EB120 is over here I kind of took it out of rotation because it was not charging from the solar panel because of its low voltage or rather its high voltage range on its charge controller input which is 16 volts I come over here after I disconnected this and put this on here it was charging at like 11 volts at a few amps so that was never going to charge that, which is why I took it off. And remember, the MPPT, <laughs> the charge controller, needs to break this down to what the battery can use. So, you know, that's not a 40 volt um, joint. So, it's you know, it's, it's going to make sense of what it needs to do to buck all that stuff down to where the battery can actually use it. These two are already in series. These are in series, but they're connected to this super tangly cable that just gets on my nerves because it never laid flat. But essentially, these will stay in series. These will stay in series. I'll just disconnect the cable from that one, disconnect the cable from that one, the eight millimeter and extension and all that. And then I'll just put these in place and end up with this going into this extension cable which runs all the way into my garage and then this whole panel will be a 40 volt 5 amp 40 volt 5 amp and then it'll end up being a 40 volt 10 amp once i put them in parallel now a challenge here is going to be will these cables reach i basically laid it down for ease of visual that positive needs to go into that on this one right here so essentially, these two have to come and get that. That's, that may not work. I'm definitely not going to do this on the ground. I just wanted to show y'all what I'm dealing with here. I'm going to pick them back up and work that way because it's going to be hard to pick all of these up once they're all connected. And this, my friends, is why I just want a 400 watt panel right here <laughs> instead of all of this foolishness. All right, that took some work, but um, not a lot. But it's, it's done back there. It's a, a mess, but it's done. Let's see if I can show you over here. You see that that cable's connected, and then the other one's way over there behind that cable. So let's go, um, let's look at some voltage on this one. Now I am gonna test with this right here, but remember this is also gonna show me some stuff. So we have 44 volts, I'm rounding up. So let's pop it into here and see what we end up getting on this. On here, after it's all said and done, what am I looking at here? That's interesting, that's very high. 14 volts at 12 point some odd amps giving it just 200 watts. That's very peculiar. Let's go look at the panels and kind of see what they're doing. That's what the panels look like. Now it's not a superbly bright day. So it's a little hazy out, uh, you know, it's a good angle though, compared to some of these other ones. Let's look and see what these, uh, what this 320 watt is getting flat and compared to that, which will be interesting. So even laying flat, this one is getting 126 out of a 300 watt array. And this one is getting 165 out of a 400 watt array. 
that does not make sense to me so i'm going to unplug this and plug it into my eb120 to see what it does now it is important to note that this charge controller is rated at i think like 40 volts at like 20 amps so the 12 amps coming through on both of those panel arrays should not be a problem which kind of means they're doing like six amps of pot which seems weird but let's plug in here and see what this does this one is limited to 10 amps so all back, you see that going higher, and I don't understand why. 260, 74, 280. Seems to have settled at close to 300 watts. Whereas like this one is getting half. I don't understand. That is confusing to me. But I tell you what, I'm not gonna stay here and try and figure it out. I'm going to let this boy get charged, you feel me? <laughs> now that I think about it and looking at this footage and seeing the voltage being as high as it is, maybe the battery was full. Um, that's what I think could be going on here, but I still ended up keeping it on the EV120 because I wanted to get that power. All right, y'all. So I holla.